Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate to you guys on how to use one of the tools in Kali Linux uh, which is the Software Engineering Tool or SET but before that, I would like to ask my friend Siti No Azam to give a brief explanation about phishing attacks and how to prevent it from happening Hi everyone, so today we are going to show you how phishing attack can be done using Kali Linux and social engineering toolkits. So please be informed that this is for educational purpose only. So let's continue. What is phishing attack? It is a type of social engineering attack often used to steal user data including login credential and credit card number. It occurs when an attacker masquerading a trusted entity dupes a victim into opening an email or instant message or text message. The recipient is then tricked into clicking a malicious link which is led to the installation of malware such as the freezing of the system is part of a ransomware attack or revealing of sensitive information. Okay, so there are two types of phishing attack, which is email phishing scams and spear phishing. Email phishing scams will mess just three to thousands of fraudulent message to get money from the targeted victims, while spear phishing will target a specific person or enterprise as opposed to random application user. Thus, they will require uh, knowledge about the victim or organization including their power structure so what about the prevention there are a few ways to prevent this attack but the most effective one is using two-factor authentication where it will add an extra verification layer when the user login into sensitive application thank you sitino azam for giving us those uh, information about phishing attack and also ways of preventing it so now i'm going to demonstrate to you guys on how to perform the uh, attack using set or social engineering toolkit so you need to log in to your kali then you want to go to terminal After that, you will need to go to uh, SE Tool Kit. So the SE Tool Kit needs you to run the program in Wood. So you need to put sudo and key in the password. After that, it will show you, to you guys the SE Tool Kit. As you can see here, there are many ways or how thing you, you can do on the tool itself. But today I will show to you how to use the social engineering attack. So I press one. Under social engineering attack, there are multiple ways to do to perform an attack. As you can see here. But uh, we will use the website attack vectors. So under website attack vectors, as you can see here, there are multiple ways of performing the attack, but we will try to use the credential harvester attack method. So what is credential harvester attack method? As you can see, as you can see here, the credential harvester method will utilize web cloning of a website that has a username and password field and harvest all the information posted to the website so three and now we can choose either three process that we want to use so i will use uh, web templates as you can see uh, we need to insert a ip address but which IP address that we want to insert it. So we need to insert our Kali Linux IP address. Uh, 
we can use IP address or sudo if config either of these two will show the IP address of your virtual machine so right now my virtual IP my IP address is this as you can see so we insert our IP it's actually already shown here but you can double check uh, if you want to use either internal IP address or external IP address, the IP address that I'm using is internal IP address. So right now, it shows you which template that you want to use, either Java required, Google or Twitter. So I will use Google. So this is the process uh, that's running. So we open a web browser so how does this attack happen is that we send an email to the victim uh, inside the email consists of a link for example that we ask the victim to open uh, the link that is required them to fill up a certain information regarding their background uh, credential or anything so when the victim click on the link it will open the site just like this the, uh, the page of it but as you can see our uh, address there address there it is show 10.0.2.4 so if that person is unaware of this type of attack, he or she will just key in their username and also password. So let's try. So this is the IP. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's not the IP. Uh, this is the email and also the password so when i click sign in it will show you the google search engine usually after you have logged into your email it will show like this but as you can see the, over here you're not actually logged into your account so then we look back at our terminal here you can see that it is actually listening and also we are able to get the username and the password that have been inserted by the victim as you can see this is our email address just now and this is the password that I have inserted it so what you guys need to be careful of this attack can actually happen to you or any of your closest family closest friend or families you need to be well aware that you need to put two factor authentication to fa when you want to log in to your account any account your bank account your email account your facebook account because once the attacker obtain this the attacker can get more information further information into your life such as your address your social security numbers your id number so right now you need to have an awareness of this and i hope that this video can show that you need to be well aware of it so that's all from me thank you and have a good day